right? Uh, book 34, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Uh, this one's kind of like the last one. It's kind of an odd premise. Basically, family gets lawn gnomes that starts tearing up their garden, acting like little shits, essentially. And they're tearing up the neighbor's garden. The neighbor and their parents don't believe it's the main characters who are actually innocent. Uh, yada, yada, yada. It's formulaic. Um... This one's kind of hit and miss. Uh, if that seems like something you would like for just how silly and stupid that is, then I would read it. If not, it's passable. This would be a skippable book. Um, not much to say about this one. Uh, just, it's a lot of gnomes. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> um, I mean, as far as my personal taste, it's, it's not bad. Um, it's on the lower end of favorites. Not one of my, like, top that I would highly recommend, but I wouldn't say to skip it either if you're interested. Uh, and the premise is goofy enough to make it entertaining and fun, so there's that. But all in all, I mean, not much to say about this one. It's lawn gnomes, they're evil, and they're tearing up shit. What more do you want? <laughs> so that's it for this one. Um, sorry this was such a short video, <laughs> but I honestly didn't think I was going to have this much to say about lawn gnomes. So there you go. Later.